What's up everyone, Killerham here again with a first impression video of the upcoming competitive PvE focused game Evercore Heroes. I got access to Evercore Heroes as part of the OTK Games Expo preview a few days ago where viewers were allowed to play Evercore Heroes for a few hours of that day. Um, I wanted to say this video is about my pure unadulterated first impressions of playing the game a single time. I think I might have only watched a single trailer before um, the expo, and uh, that's it. So, single trailer before the expo, that's all I've seen. Uh, also, since my first impressions of the preview, I haven't played at all. I couldn't, obviously, but I haven't played at all. Um, okay, so what did I think? Well, the game seems very raw, for lack of a better term. Um, the menu is clean, the main menu is clean, and uh, the characters are all stylized. Um, the characters remind me a lot of League of Legends, but <laughs> what what MOBA style game doesn't remind you of League of Legends nowadays? I think they're all kind of copy that same style. Um, you know, small, small differences, but mainly the same. One of the interesting things to know is there are four teams, which is kind of cool. Um, it's very different from other MOBAs because this is a PvE competitive game. So PvE competitive, there's four teams, so there's 16 players, uh, four teams of four. Um, but anyways, I jumped into a game not knowing what I was doing or what the heck was going on. Uh, I figured I'd be able to get the idea once I started the game. Um, you know, you start the game, there's a portal, you go through it. Pretty much everything was a mystery to me the entire time I played through the game, though. So it didn't really tell me what I had to do or what I was trying to do very effectively. Um, but by the end of the match that I played, I kind of understood the, the basics. Um, you hunt creatures with your team, and you get points for, for killing bigger and meaner creatures. Uh, and that's most of the game, by the way. You're running around a MOBA-style arena, killing NPCs. Uh, I really hope they have some kind of tutorial in the future for this game when it releases, because uh, it's only releasing in a few days, and uh, when I was playing, I couldn't really find a tutorial except for the objective tooltips. So I think the game is so different from regular... MOBAs that they're going to have to do something to educate people about how to play the game and why it's competitive. Um, yeah. So, um, you kill mobs, you get points, you get gold, and uh, the in there's an in-game store, just like League of Legends. Uh, you can use your gold to buy items from the store. Um, and that was the hardest thing for me to figure out. <laughs> I had no idea how to use it. The UI still seemed like it was placeholder I couldn't figure it out, and I opened the menu at least several times to try. I could the sell this. Wave is about to hit. Wait, Ang, we gotta get back to town. How do I... Okay, I don't know what just happened. Um, um yeah, they gotta work on that. That, uh, it, 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 and even, even if I was using it properly or improperly, it just wasn't a good experience. So, um, yeah. The most interesting part of the game is that uh, teams drop off one by one if they're not getting enough points. So at the end, there's only two teams left uh, and there's a boss fight where there's like a face off and the two teams with the most points are killing the same boss, I guess. Um, what really confused me about that is that there's these like pixie things that represent the other player characters and which you could see from the beginning of the match, by the way. Um, but what I didn't understand is why did I see them? You know, they're fighting. They're, are they fighting the exact same boss as me, or was it just the same boss but a different instance of the boss? Why do I need to see those players? That just confused me. I mean, I guess it's good to just you could see them, yay! But there was no like impact gameplay-wise. Um, maybe you'll have better luck than me figuring that out, you guys. But I have no. Clue. Uh, I had no clue if the boss we were fighting was the same instance or two different instances of the same boss. I think the Pixies did more to confuse me than than help me gameplay-wise. But it is cool that there is a face-off. I think it's very interesting, the idea of PvE uh, as opposed to PvP comp competitive gameplay. Um, anyway, so since the other team beat the boss first, my team lost, so I was uh, my team was the second place team. Uh, but other than those problems, the gameplay overall felt smooth, even fun. Uh, I liked the PvE combat, and it seemed like something other people would enjoy as well. 
the characters all had their unique abilities and playing my character was fun. Uh, my character had these cannon things uh, that did a lot of AOE damage. Um, so I was one of the main DPS uh, dealers uh, on my team. So that was pretty cool. Um, but at the end, really, I was feeling quite unsatisfied. Uh, when the game was over. Your it's supposed team. to be a competitive game, but despite deck. beating two other teams, I didn't feel any sense of accomplishment. I didn't feel bad I lost, to be honest. I didn't feel bad at all, but I also didn't feel like I gained anything either. And I was left thinking, why should I even play another match? I have two theories for that, I think. Uh, one is that it's because this was an early preview. There's no battle pass or progression to be seen. That I could see at, at all. I looked around, um, but perhaps with those gameplay elements, the conclusion of the competitive PVE battle will be more enjoyable. So maybe once there is a battle pass and once there is, you know, ranks and stuff, the conclusion of these battles will be more enjoyable. But theory two is a little worse for the game. Um, maybe competitive PVE just doesn't feel the same as competitive PVP games. In, in PvP games, you feel good because you pwned someone else directly. You could see that you pwned them. You could see that you were better than them. And that has, you know, there's a feeling there in competitive PvP games. I hope for the game's sake that isn't true, though. I felt like there is definitely a lot of potential in Evercore Heroes. And there's a lot to explore in, like, the competitive PvE scene. Um just seems really interesting and uh, I would I you know I hope that the game succeeds even if I don't play it I hope the game succeeds um, anyways did anyone else get to play during the preview what do you guys think and let me know in the comments below catch you next time